Before getting into this video, massive spoiler warning. I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff that revolves the end of the game and stuff like that. So just, if you haven't beaten the game yet, this is not really the video for you. So, Elster's Gestalt is a face without a name. We see her many times in the flashbacks that occur during the Persona degradations in Eternity, and learn much about her from both Elster's actions as well as the photograph. But ultimately, we are never directly told her name. Instead, it's left more to theory, and for most of Signalis' theory history, the solution amongst theorists has been that the true Gestalt is well at the Edo. However, recently, there has been a counter-theory raised that perhaps we were wrong, and that the actual Gestalt was Wong Anna. Today, we will address the arguments of both sides, explaining what we know about these two characters before finishing up with my own opinions on the matter. So with no more delay, let's get right into this. <laughs> Quick note here at the start of the video, if you're someone that's into Signalis lore and just want to hang around a cool place, I have a link to my Discord below, where we just relax, talk about lore mods, and other random stuff. So yeah, if you're interested, feel free to join below. So before we get into anything, let me provide the context for my opening statement. Elster's Gestalt is shown to us in several scenes. These lost memories of a person she never was are shown as she stumbles deeper into the Red Sea that is eternity. We can see that this Gestalt was a soldier who fought during the Battle of Vignetta. During this battle, she would be wounded in her eye. Despite these injuries, the Gestalt would survive the war, being depicted on Vignette and Artillery Division postcard with an eye patch to cover up her injuries. This Gestalt would stand next to Olana Sio, who would hold a higher rank than her, as proven by the numerous badges as well as having more stripes on her neck to indicate rank. That more so goes into the real attributes of Alana Sio as a soldier, who is very well decorated. Alana has two stripes though, and the Gestalt only had one, which certainly proves that Alana was higher ranked. We don't know what happened following the image, but we do know that at some point between the image and modernity, she was used as the normal pattern for Elster. So now for the topic in question. What is the name of this Gestalt? There are, as I said, two possibilities that one can continue, those being Huang Anna or Willith Ido. Let's start with Willith and her lore and why she is a candidate, and then we can move up to Huang. We don't really know much of anything about Willith besides her name, and in her name there are two pieces of symbolism that support her being the root for Elster. First is Ido. Her last name is that of the twins that Arion was friends with, and the family she worked for. This provides a piece of interconnectivity that Signalis is always inclined towards. It also provides a logical reasoning as to why Arion would even have a chance to see this postcard in the first place. I mean, why else would she have a postcard if it, there wasn't some connection to it? Second is Willith. Her name is one that harkens back to Hebrew myths and legends. There's a lot of symbolism with this name that heavily connects to Elster. Willith is a Hebrew demon that in some beliefs is said to be the first wife of Adam who rejected him and God to become a demon. In this belief, we can find several connections to Elster, be it her decision to oppose the God of Swords and Falk, or the King Yellow depending on your interp, be it her decision to reject the status quo, or even in Adler's quote where he calls her a selfish monster, which is something that is often used to describe Lilith in Hebrew mythology. She is also seen as, to many, to be the first feminist, a connotation that certainly finds support amongst her rebellious love and independence that Elster finds herself in. So from Lilithito we can move to the alternative theory, that being that Juan Ana is the Gestalt. This theory emerges from the other name on the postcard, and its appearance in another location. The top of the list is Juan Ana, again, bar her name, we know nothing about her. Though it is theorized that due to the position on the list, she could be the CO or commander of the squad, because her name is on the top of the list, and the second name on the list, Alana CO, is extremely highly decorated. So, it could be wagered that perhaps the list is numbered or ordered based off rank. We see her name somewhere else though, that being on the safe with the butterflies within it, and the password of this safe is none other than Elster. Some have taken this to imply that she is Elster's Gestalt, and the woman in the photo, because why else would these two things be connected? Personally, I think I have a different explanation, and I don't really believe in this connection. Huang means yellow, or at least in some way means yellow. I'm not native Chinese speaker, but I've seen some others who know more about the language mention this. 
So having the squad commander of the Vignetta Corps being Anna of the Yellow could be seen as symbolic that the king was behind the war, or at the very least played a major part in this. Having the safe with butterflies in it be owned by Huang is also symbolic that the king could be behind these butterflies. Butterflies adorned with the letters of Aeon, butterflies that also crowd Elster at the start of each cycle. It would also support the notion that Elster Stritzel isn't Huang, and rather Huang is just the one who's been behind the scenes watching Elster since the very beginning. And by Huang, of course, I mean the king in yellow. Again, that would really require you have more of a KIY interp, and I can understand why other people who do not follow such an interp wouldn't exactly put those two things together. So in conclusion, I don't think Huang is the distal. Rather, Huang is a icon or member of the king, much like how we see Adler is, and Lilith is the true distal. But just like everything in Sinalis, it's supposed to be murky. I completely understand that. But with that, I've now covered my thoughts on Elster's Tristol, as well as the two main theories on this matter. If you have any questions or noticed anything I missed, always feel free to drop a comment below. I try to read them all, and I reply to any ones that I'm, I feel like y'all are asking me something. As I mentioned earlier in the vid, if you'd like to talk to me or other Signalis theorists on a more personal level, uh, a link to my Discord is down below. It's a cool place, and I hope some of y'all swing over to check it out. But that is all I've got for y'all today. This has been Crystal Reist, and I hope to see you all, well, next time.